Now, for many countries, foreign exchange business is highly formal and established, but in Djibouti, uh, it thrives along the streets and is seemingly a popular venture. Faisal Ahmed was recently in Djibouti and sought to know why this happens. Djibouti, the capital city of Djibouti, despite an established financial services sector, street money changes still rule here. All currencies from across the world available for conversion to Djibouti franc. And euro, the competition taking a right to the doorstep of local banks, this aided by the regulation from the Central Bank of Djibouti. The growth of the money changes buoyed by transactions from the diaspora. Daily transactions estimated to be more than 200,000 shillings. In a day we transact between $1,500 to $2,000 depending on how many people will be sent money that day. They're also popular with tourists who are also able to begin for fair rates than those offered by banks. One shilling is equivalent to 1.7 Djibouti franc. However, the women in the street change it for between 1.74 and 1.76 Djibouti franc. We offer better rates than banks, but that isn't to say that we control all the customers. Some of them prefer to use the banks and hawalas to change their money. Change money is for women. Because women all time here. No go to my house. Yes. It's coming seven hours. It's, it's go one nine and a half. All time is open shop. But how is it that these street money changes thrive in the business? This exchange rate that I'm changing in has been here for a very long time. The government controls it so that the money does not lose value. Despite the presence of 11 banks and a dozen forex exchange institutions, the money-changing women of Djibouti are still a very vital institution in the country, mainly operating on one ethical rule, trust. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Djibouti.